Police now confirming the deadly stabbing that happened here at the High Park subway station was an act of random violence. And this disturbing news comes as we're learning more about the 31 year old woman who died and the suspect who's now behind bars. May I begin uh, on a sad note by expressing my deep sadness at the event which took place at the High Park station yesterday. Uh, the victim and her family have our sincere condolences. Witnesses described the chaotic scene to City News, telling us people were scrambling for safety as a man on the train was wielding an object that appeared to be an ice pick. Two women were stabbed, including 31-year-old Vanessa Kurpuska. She was rushed to hospital but did not survive. The second victim was a 37-year-old woman who suffered minor injuries. The suspect was quickly arrested on the eastbound platform and is now facing charges of first degree murder and attempted murder. The violence and random nature of this attack has left many shaken. Hearing about something like that is like, um, adds like a sort of paranoia to your commute. The TTC has added more special constables and uniformed staff to help bring a sense of safety to commuters. And Mayor John Tory says he will be meeting with the head of the TTC and the police chief to discuss some existing plans we have for 2023 to increase the presence and monitoring uh, in the system, but also to discuss additional ways in which we can address uh, this uh, concern. This is not the first random attack to happen on the TTC this year. Back in April, a woman was pushed onto the tracks at Bloor Station, and in July, a woman was killed on a Kipling bus after being set on fire by a stranger. The president of ATU Local 113, the union representing thousands of transit workers, tells me since the pandemic hit, there's been a steady rise in violence. I think there's a number of things that need to be dealt with, including the underhoused in the system, uh, people with mental illness in the system. We want people to get the help they need. We need an actual actual effort in the system to have some semblance of people not feeling comfortable enough to bring a knife into the system, to bring a uh, flammable fluid onto a vehicle and set somebody on fire. We want these individuals to feel that there's some deterrent from them having these actions in transit. Whether it's a transit worker or a transit rider, people should feel safe when they're using the system. Now, the 52-year-old suspect in yesterday's attack, Ning Jia Jing, appeared in court this morning via video link. The judge did place a publication ban on the case, meaning we cannot report on any of the details. But what I can tell you is that he has been remanded into custody. And because he's facing a charge of first-degree murder, he'll have to apply to Superior Court for a bail hearing.